So today, um, okay, so I'm Sun Jung. Uh, I'm a product designer for the enablement group. And today I, I would like to walk you through like how the geo replication product itself, it's changed for the last three months. Okay, this is a really huge topic. So just keep in mind, I try to be very entertaining for this talk. <laughs> so actually this is one of my first official tasks that I got from Fabian, who is the product manager for the geo team. And the goal of the task was pretty obvious, like deliver better design solution for this page. And actually I have seen the issue description really closely and okay, there were very obvious problems. So we had a chat in the meetings with engineers and with the PMs. So I feel like, okay, I got the problem. So I might just dive into this design problem and finding the better solution. So, well, of course, it's always not like that. I, I feel like I played the Super Mario game with the super hard mode because I already know the very clear direction and I know where to go, but I feel like, okay, I can't install the geo at the first time. And I don't know how to configure the right like instance on my local machine and also on the cloud virtual machines. So it was really tough. But the thing is, I really didn't want to just like kind of um, superficially like kind of solving the problem itself. I would like to have more holistic approach. So I, I decided to dig in, but I didn't know how at that time. So during the onboarding process, we have like really like a lot of tick box to be read. And thanks to that tick box, I, I know that we have this UX score card and my manager, Jackie told me like, this is UX score card and this is for your, this type of work. So, okay, I got it. Maybe this is the right approach. And at that time, Fabian and I started to define all the possible job to be done for the geo product itself. So I feel like, okay, maybe I think I can use this opportunity for the monitoring task here. If you see this red boxes, like, so I just secretly mark this UX core card and the recommendation issues just for me as a reminder. And also talk to the Fab, talk to Fabian later, like maybe I could look into this issue later after I creating the scorecard. So he agreed. And this was the monitoring scorecard and I won't dive into the detail because it's, it's too long, but I would like to highlight some of the problems that I identified during this scorecard work. So sorry about this low resolution video file because I don't have this version anymore. So I just quickly grabbed one of my video files and then, sorry, this is, I didn't know what to do, but this is my best. So if you see this very weird video clips, so this all progress bar implies that, so, okay, the geo help every project or every data file on GitLab kind of copy to other instance. So imagine that we have login sketch file on any repository. And if it is not like synchronized correctly, user will see something like red sign on this progress bar. And it will shows like one file is not synced, something like this. Sorry, I didn't capture the exact moment at that time. But if you see the screen, this progress bar is clickable and it shows like, okay, one file is synced. So, so what? <laughs> There's no way for user to find which file is not syncing. And I, I thought that it's a huge problem. And the uh, other problem, which I never noticed at first time, which is not closely related to the first issue that I showed you before was this. So thankfully I didn't upgrade to the latest version for this showcase. So I have the live demo for this. So this is my test instance. And this is the very first screen. And then there is no link. If there is something missing, I mean, in terms of synchronization or verification. So user 
can come to this page for some help because we have projects and designs and uploads which is corresponding to each data type. So if they feel like, okay, some design file is not syncing for some reason, then they need to come to this page and then, okay, there is something impending. So they have to do something on the comment line. But I feel like, wow, this is so similar at first time. So I didn't know that like, okay, I'm under this geo project page or geo design page, geo upload page. It looks so similar. And I know that I can hear that because we are designer. I really don't like this inconsistency. Like, okay, we are using the different icon for the same status. And they're like, okay, this is not good. And some button size is not, not consistent also. So I kind of like share the UX scorecard work and then like grabbing the whole team. They're like, hey, we have this type of problems. And I wanted to like know more about the internal concerns, not just about the user's concern. So I got the feedback from the product people like, okay, we are concerning about the less scalability of this view because we have already some plan. Like we will have like packages page as a sub page, but we will just add one more view and one more view from, <laughs> from now on. So we have some concern already regarding the scalability. And of course, as I mentioned before, like the front end work, because I think we didn't use at that time the fully, the, the newly developed view components. And it's just like not componentized perfectly at the time, as you see here. So, okay, we are not using the latest pajamas. And there are so many inconsistencies that I could find on each sub page. So it's a problem. And at that time in parallel, we have already pre-planned this user research. Uh, so Fabian and I decided to like include one of the questions during this interview. And we asked and we just try to observe what, how, as, how actual user actually use this feature. And the main pain point was like, they, they of course wanted to know the details of the file, like which project it's not thinking at the moment because it's really important and critical information, but actually they know they can handle it on the CLI. But I was very surprised to hear this like, oh, it will be so handy. Like if we can like grab every information at a glass on the UI because it's just convenient for them and it's a matter of productivity for them. So like, okay, that's really interesting. So thanks to user's feedback and the UX scorecard work, I have some very rough plans in mind. So we, there are a lot of quick fix thingy regarding the visuals update, like UI polish and something like this. And at that time, I kind of already have um, decide my direction to merging the sub pages because it is very closely related to each other and I want to have some more scalability and also it's not quite aligned with the information architecture. So I, sorry, I, I talked to the front end that probably I want to push this design and I know that it's a radical changes for him. So how about starting the technical research? So we made an agreement and then he started to dig in the technical stuff. And on the other side, I try to push for the iteration for the findability to find the, uh, how can I say so? To provide a better way to find those sub pages. And for the second iteration, I would like to make this radical changes, merging every views into the single view. So we have a lot of synchronous and asynchronous discussion within the GEO team. Zach did a great job like about the technical research. He told me everything about the limitation or the good point of having this single view in terms of front end wise work. 
And also I started to dig in the status discussion, which was not look great at that time. So I opened up a Pandora's box. It was a huge, big topic. So it's still ongoing. And also the quick fix things was ongoing, start from 12, nine milestone. So I think this visual make easier to understand. So the first iteration, I just tried to quickly put the number here as a legend and then like, hey, like, what do you think about this? So I started up the discussion asynchronously and then I got so many different feedback from our engineers and the PM. So if you see the link later in the talks, like I have really bunch of feedback. So there were several back and forth on the design changes. So I, I don't know, it's like, fourth design or the fifth design. So this is the final version. So we kind of decided to switch the tooltip, which was from the low resolution video. Like there was a really like small, quick gone tooltip like synced one. So we decided to put every numbers in detail using the popovers. And also I love this idea because there's also the link like more information or check the details, something like this. So so that I can provide another way of um, going to the sub pages. So everyone liked this idea. So we decided to go for this version. So in the 1210, this is the GIF from the release version that a user can browse the right problematic data by clicking on more information popovers. So this is not the end. So there were also the second iteration. I thought I actually underestimate this task size, but of course it was not. I still have so many uncertainty about merging views. So it took some time, but I started to looking around like how other designers deal with the similar UI, like how other designers deal with the status or the list view with the filtering option, especially. So I got inspired from the pair design session with Hayana and then the, the other designers input, it was really helpful. So I started out the async design review session. It was like second round. And for this time, I decided to involve the technical writer also because I think it's a really a new page. So I, I really need his input. Thanks everyone if, you, if you're watching this. So, for this design review round, I got so many thoughtful comments, especially from the UX and UI perspective. So I, of course, applied some of the suggestion and delivered the design. So this is the final loop. Sorry, I didn't upgrade my instance. So this is the only also low resolution view, but um, now we have only single view named geo-replication and user can browse this project and uploads and design and we will add package and some more in the next milestone so we can just put some more data types here from now on and then they can also filter by status if needed and they can also have more consistent button with the right button size from the pajama design system so this is my very ambitious next plan for our future view. I don't know when it comes, but I'm sure we can make this. But still, there's a lot of things to be considered, like status system, like we are still like discussing this issue. And I'd like to add some more feature if this makes sense for users. So still, I need to explore more about users' feedback and their behavior on this page. And at the same time, now I am working on the very first page design, which is the very first view of Geo Notes. So I think if that is delivered, I can push the button B to select a new word. I hope this will come in. This will come very soon. And thank you very much. And it's not just my work. I don't believe so. I always need to make annoying like the engineers and the PMs and the technical writer and other designer. It was all thanks to you. So if you have any question or feedback, please feel 
feel free to ping me or I'd love to jump in on any coffee chat. Thank you for listening.